Lux presents Hollywood. Lever Brothers Company, the makers of Lux Flakes, bring you the Lux Radio Theater. Starring Maureen O'Hara, John Payne, and Edmund Gwen in Miracle on 34th Street. Ladies and gentlemen, your producer, Mr. William Keeley. Greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. Our Christmas present to you is the new Christmas classic of our time, Miracle on 34th Street. It's wrapped in a gay covering of laughter, tied with a bright ribbon of good humor, and decorated with the three sparkling stars of the 20th Century Fox picture. Maureen O'Hara, John Payne, and Edmund Gwen. This is a wonderful story for the whole family. And perhaps some families may be gathered around a Christmas tree as they listen. Others will be putting up this happy sign of the season in a few days with lights and ornaments and the shining snow that can be made with Lux Flakes. Later, we'll tell you how to do this trick with Lux. But right now, it's curtain time for the play that proves there's a Santa Claus. Miracle on 34th Street. Starring Maureen O'Hara as Doris, John Payne as Fred, and Edmund Gwen in his Academy Award-winning performance as Chris Kingle. It's Thanksgiving Day in New York City. On a broad avenue adjoining Central Park, an annual event is being joyfully awaited. The spectacular parade presented by Macy's Department Store to herald in the Christmas season. Away from the crowd are two of Macy's public relations experts. He's simply wonderful, Mrs. Walker. Just look at him on that float. The most realistic Santa Claus we've ever had. Why, he didn't even need any padding, did he? Padding? Why, didn't you notice his tummy? So round, so firm, so fully packed. Well, now that everything's under control, where on earth did you find him? I I don't know. I, I just turned around and there he was. And to think that the man whose place he took... Was intoxicated. With a breath that would knock over a reindeer. Oh, just think if Mr. Macy had seen him. What if Mr. Gimble had seen him? Competition between our stores is tough enough. <laughs> well, the parade's starting. Let's stand at the curb. Not I, Mr. Shellhammer. I'm going home to relax. Anyway, I can see it from there. I live just around the corner. Oh, so you do. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Mrs. Walker. And congratulations on finding the best Santa Claus in Macy's history. Certainly is a wonderful parade, Susan. Just look at that clown. Gosh, what a giant. Giant, Mr. Gailey? There are no such things as giants. Well, not now, maybe, but in olden days, there's... Really, Mr. Gailey? And you're a lawyer. Well, what about the giant that Jack killed? You know, Jack and the Beanstalk? Everybody knows that's a fairy tale. And I agree with my mother. Fairy tales are silly. Come in. Oh, hello, Mother. I'm watching the parade. Mr. Gailey invited me. Hello, darling. Susie's told me quite a lot about you, Mrs. Walker. She's told me quite a lot about you, too, the man in the front apartment. Well, this is all part of a plot, Mrs. Walker. I'm very fond of Susie, but I I also wanted to meet you. At least you're frank. I'm no Oh, don't even mention the name. Why not, Mother? Well, that Santa Claus you see is a last-minute substitute. But why? Oh, remember the way the janitor was last New Year's? Oh, my. Tight as an owl. I, um, I see Susan doesn't believe in Santa Claus either. That's right. She never has. Well, that's the end of the parade. Mother, I've been thinking. It's Thanksgiving, and there are only two of us. Couldn't we invite Mr. Gailey? Well, I... Uh... Oh, uh, <laughs> please don't bother. I'll... I'll just have a sandwich or something. But we have such a big turkey. Please, Mother, please. Well, well, I... Did I ask her all right, Mr. Gailey? Susie, shh. <laughs> you asked fine, Susan. Dinner's at three, Mr. Gailey. Hello, Mrs. Walker. 
Yes, Mr. Shellhammer. Your maid said you were at Thanksgiving dinner, but I, I just had to tell you. Your Santa Claus was stupendous. Well, thank you. Mr. Macy himself wants him to be our toy department Santa Claus. Oh, fine. Can you hire him? Oh, 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 I already have. Oh, he's a born salesman. I just feel it. Good. We'll talk about it in the morning. Thanks for calling, Mr. Shellhammer. Here he is, Mr. Shellhammer. Here's Santa Claus. Oh, thank you, Alfred. Thank you. Good morning, Santa Claus. Good morning. Now, before you go to the toy department, here's a list of toys that we have to push. Huh? You know, things we're overstocked on. Now, you'll find that a great many children will be undecided as to what they want for Christmas. And when that happens, you immediately suggest one of these items. Do you understand? I certainly do. Fine, that's fine. Now, take the list and Alfred here will show you to your throne in the toy department. And don't you forget, you're working for Macy. Claus. Why, of course I am. What do you want for Christmas, little boy? I want a fire engine with a real hose that squirts real wet water. And I won't do it in the house. I'll only do it in the backyard. I promise. And I promise you'll get your fire engine. You see, Mama, I told you you'd get me one. <laughs> That's fine. That's just dandy. You'll wait here, Mortimer. Mama wants to thank Santa Claus, too. Yes, madam? So what's the matter with you? No, no, no. What's the trouble? I told you before, didn't I? The kid wants a fire engine, but there isn't one to be had anywhere in town. Macy's ain't got any. Gimbal's ain't got any. Nobody's got any. My feet are killing me, and you say, okay, he gets the fire engine. But you can get those fire engines at Schoenfeld's, Lexington Avenue. Only four fifty. a wonderful bargain. Schoenfeld? Yes. Hey, I, I don't get it. Oh, I follow the toy market very closely. Macy's sending people to other stores? Yes. Are you kidding? No. The one important thing is to make the children happy. Whether Macy's or somebody else sells the toy doesn't matter. Now, don't you feel that way? Who, me? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Only I didn't know Macy's did. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Uh, who's next, please? Right this way to see Santa Claus. <laughs> All right, little girl. You're next. Of course, little girl. You want some roller skates? Well, you shall have them, too. Mama, Mama, he's going to bring me some roller skates. And he has some fine skates here at Macy's, haven't you, Santa Claus? Oh, they're good skates, all right, but, but not quite good enough. Now, I left some really wonderful roller skates at Gimbal's. I'm sure Gimbal's have just what this good little girl wants. Really. Mr. Shellhammer, are you Mr. Shellhammer? Uh, Gimbal's? Uh, Gimbal's? That's just what he did say, Gimbal's. Uh, the sales lady said I should speak to you. Gimbal's. I just wanted to congratulate you and Macy's on this wonderful new stunt you're pulling. Gimbal's. Imagine a big outfit like Macy's putting the spirit of Christmas ahead of the commercial. Gimbal's. From now on, I'm going to be a regular Macy customer. All right, Mortimer, we're going. Gimbal's. <laughs> 